It was named one of the best main streets in America by Parade Magazine. This morning, we're taking you to Excelsior and inside this historic bed and breakfast. How cute! Built right along Water Street, the Birdhouse Inn was built in 1858. It's also known as the James H. Clark House. Just blocks away from Excelsior Bay and the hip lakefront, super hip, Dave Walstead and his wife own and operate the historic house. He says together they've seen a lot of changes in the last decade. 14 years we've been here, it's changed a lot. It went from a pizza hut and a hole in the wall Chinese and a, you know, pull tabs and dartboards bar. Uh, you know, that was kind of the restaurants on the street 14 years ago, and now we've got some of the best in the Twin Cities. It's true. Allie Lucia taking us on a staycation all week. You look very comfortable nestled up on Water Street this morning in Excelsior, Allie. A coffee in a scone, what more can you ask for? I'm at 318 Cafe. It's just across the street from Birdhouse Inn. And it's also next to a new bike shop to Water Street here in Excelsior. Excelsior. So before we talk about uh, Water Street and what it has to offer, I want to take you next door to South Lake Cycle. It's one of the newest businesses here on Water Street. And it opened last year. And bike shops have become very popular uh, just really across the Twin Cities, especially this one. Uh, it seems South Lake Cycle might be here to stay. Owner and biker Mark Schnorr left his corporate engineering job to take on a new challenge and maybe something a little more hands-on. He says he's really seen the rental business pick up with bikes this summer. We get a lot of visitors that come to visit people who live around Lake Minnetonka. Uh, we also have some from the, the bed and breakfast in town as well as people just coming out from Minneapolis and St. Paul. Now, I walked around Water Street last week when we visited here, and it was just uh, bumping. So many people walking the streets, and this was just even on a Monday, right around lunchtime, and so many new businesses here. But one that has been here a while is the place we're at right now is 318 Cafe, and I'm joined by one of the owners, Tom Peterson. And Tom, you guys have owned this place for more than a decade. How has business changed for you just even in the last few years? Uh, business has grown. We've seen growth every year since we've been here. It'll be 11 years in November. There's just more people coming from outside of the area, biking in from the city. Now, do you, when you look at your customers and the people that are visiting uh, Water Street in general, do you see a lot of people come in from Minneapolis and St. Paul looking for something a little different, maybe a vibe they don't get in the city? Definitely, yeah. There's a lot of families coming out, bringing their kids, enjoying the parks. A lot of people biking out, um, checking out all the shops and coming out to see live music. Now you have live music here five nights a week, which is something that's hard to find sometimes, um, but tucked right by the water. Uh, do you get a lot of foot traffic just to come in and see the live music? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of interest in, in, in the live music, but we rely on the artists, on popular artists to bring in their fans as well. We had artists like Chastity Brown, um, Michael Johnson, Ann Reed, um, and they bring in, they have a big fan base. So when you look at some of the new businesses that have popped up along Water Street, how has it helped you in your business growth? And do you think it kind of represents a new demand for what people are maybe looking for? Yeah, definitely. With every new business that comes in, it just helps everybody. It's the critical mass. So whenever a new restaurant opens, we've, we've been busier as a result of it. Uh, just hearing from one of the owners at Birdhouse Inn, he talked about when he when they first uh, bought the Birdhouse Inn, there was a Pizza Hut and a Chinese restaurant, and there really weren't a lot of businesses down here. So uh, do you think even some of the growth you've seen this summer has to do with maybe the fact that this summer has been absolutely fabulous weather-wise? Definitely, yeah, the weather, the weather helps, but we're vibrant in the winter, too. There's plenty of activities in the winter. Um, snowmobiling, bike races, that sort of thing. Well, Tom, thank you so much for joining us You're this welcome. morning. So we, I guess we'll thank Matt Brickman for all of the great weather we've been having the last few weeks and all the people that have taken advantage biking to Excelsior. Lovely. Allie, thank you. I'm just mesmerized. I'd like a cup of coffee and a scone, if you don't mind, in about an hour. <laughs> think you can make it back? Uh, we, we'll get that special delivery just for you. Perfect. <laughs> thank you. Now this morning I'm jo joined by the owner of this cafe, 318 Cafe, Tom Peterson. Tom, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, so we've been chatting all morning long and we can see the bikers already out and about this morning, but uh, what changes have you seen here along the Main Street or Water Street here in Excelsior since you opened this shop? I'd say just more people coming from out of town. You know, people coming from 
Hopkins, Waconia, all around the, the lakes area, Excelsior just has so much to offer. And all week long, we're exploring staycation spots across the metro. So what makes this Excelsior spot so unique and so offering maybe to someone who's looking for an escape from the city life? Sure. Well, we're an all-day cafe, so you can come in for breakfast and have homemade quiche. You can have oatmeal, uh, breakfast burrito. Then um, it's a great spot for lunch. We're always busy. And then we have live music in the evenings, which is hard to find uh, anywhere the live music of this caliber. Yeah, yeah. and you have fi live music five nights a week. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you guys have been here for nearly 14 years, but when you look at kind of Water Street, we see some joggers outside right now. Uh, what changes have you seen uh, just in the business growth? Sure, well, the uh, retail shops um, have really grown. There's a new library in town. There's a new grocery store. Um, there's been a lot of renovation, and um, all the businesses are really successful. There's a handful of new restaurants and when you look at the, the clientele that come into your restaurants, how many uh, people live here in Excelsior? Because it's a very small, quaint town, less than 3,000 people, and how many are just people who are uh, out and about on the lake or visiting from other places? We definitely have our, uh, the local regulars that, that visit us every day that we rely on. They're super supportive of all the local businesses. And then on the weekends, we tend to see a lot of people coming in from the cities. And what do you think makes this destination so much more desirable now? Well, Excelsior is unique. It's a lake town. There's no sprawl. It's uh, been, uh, it's retained its charm, its small town charm, and its rich history. And there's a lot of culture. Well, Tom, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I can attest to that. Uh, I've visited a lot of different main streets along the lakes across Minnesota, and I've definitely seen the changes here in Excelsior over the last few years. So if you haven't been to Water Street in Excelsior, Highly recommend it. Yeah, great restaurant scene there too as well. Allie last week when she was out covering it was like, I'm ready to move to Excelsior. <laughs> Just packing her bags. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Allie.